conscious and unconscious mind. Now, this is something that is extremely important for you to understand here, because as you can see from the picture there, the conscious mind is just literally the tip of the iceberg. Everything else that really guides how we act, the decisions that we make, the actions that we take, is really all guided by our unconscious. So let's first look at the conscious mind here. With the conscious mind, this is our conscious awareness. So think of yourself as a captain that's navigating a ship, okay? And in order for you to make the right decision and to you know go into the right direction so you're not hitting an iceberg, right? You first must give orders to your unconscious mind or your subconscious mind. And this is through your different thoughts, images, feelings, actions, right? Emotions, which control and governs all of your experiences. This is where we create meaning. We attach meaning to whatever's happening to us, right? Whatever experience and that past experience gives us a map of the world from which we operate. So we tend to believe that our conscious mind makes all the decisions, right? But in reality, our unconscious mind is actually the one that's in control here. So whatever our conscious mind assumes and believes to be true, your subconscious mind will accept and bring to pass, okay? This is very important here because if you have a belief that you are not very good at math or that you're not very good with the opposite sex, you're not very attractive, well, guess what? Your unconscious mind is going to accept that and bring that to pass. And then your conscious mind is going to go out, you're going to go out and actually do things that reflect and that manifest itself in that manner because that is what you believe. And so your unconscious mind is literally just a program where you're programming it with different types of information, right? Just think about when you're watching TV or when you're watching different shows, all of that is programming you. It's programming your unconscious. And so when we can reprogram our unconscious mind through affirmations, uh, through going through different exercises that you're going to go through in this program, then that is what is going to be accepted and bring to pass. Because the unconscious mind doesn't judge, it's not going to tell you whether something is wrong or something is right. It's all on what you want and what you believe and what you're actually accepting, right? And so if you think good, then good will follow. If you think you're a likable person, if you think that you can overcome anything that comes into your way and that you are a very powerful person that can get through anything and you know accomplish whatever you want to accomplish, well, hey, that's what's going to follow. If you think negative, then negativity is going to follow. And if you believe that you are a victim and that you can never do big things, well, guess what? That is what is going to follow and that is what is going to bring to pass, right, as far as your unconscious, and then that's going to reflect into your conscious mind, right? And then that's what you're going to see in the real world. So your unconscious mind is actually the one that is steering the ship, right? Whether we know it or not. See, we think that we are making these decisions consciously, but in reality, it's all done at an unconscious level based on what we believe, what we accept to be true, and what we ultimately do. And so how we create our own reality is we represent the world internally to create our own personal and subjective realities because every single person is going to have a different view of reality, a different perspective, because they have different experiences. They have different beliefs, right? Different views of the world. And so not any two people are going to have the same reality that they're experiencing, right? And so a good example of this is let's say that you are cold calling businesses and you're getting rejected and it's just totally bringing you down and you're just like oh my gosh I can't believe I'm getting rejected this sucks I don't want to do this anymore that's the kind of mentality that you're taking and so that kind of experience right that's creating your reality you're looking at it as something negative as you being rejected as it bringing you down versus somebody else can be doing the same exact thing that you're doing they can be doing cold calling, maybe even making more cold calls than you're doing. And they could be looking at the same exact rejection as opportunities, opportunities for growth, for being able to maybe change their pitch or maybe change their script 
or maybe just understand that, you know what, it's a numbers game. And so notice there how those two people are doing the same exact thing. However, the realities are different. Why? Because based on their internal experience and their internal representation of how reality is for them is what's dictating their actions, their thought processes, their reactions, right? One person is being uh, rejected and they're looking at it as a negative and they're taking the victim mentality and that this sucks and I don't want to do this anymore. And the other person is looking at it as opportunity, as understanding that it's a numbers game and that it's not an attack on them personally, right? So the unconscious and conscious mind here, this is something that is critically important for you to understand that your unconscious mind is really the one that's driving the ship here, okay? It's steering it in the actual direction and that your conscious mind is just your conscious awareness and you're going to do certain things based off of what you have stored in your unconscious mind. Let's take a look at the power of cause and effect now. This is a law of nature, okay? There's nothing that's happening in this world that didn't start with a cause and then an effect. And so everything that we currently have in our lives is an effect of a result of a specific cause, right? These causes are the decisions that we've made, that we've chosen not to make, right? And the actions that we take on a daily basis. And so our thoughts, feelings, actions, and words are a cause which create the effect, whether desirable or undesirable. If we think that we can do something, then we're going to most likely do it because we believe that we can. If we feel negative towards something, if we feel, you know, unsure or we have, you know, paralysis by analysis, then we're not going to move forward and take action. And then our actions and our words, right? Words are really powerful here. Obviously, actions are extremely powerful as far as being able to take action, gather feedback, gather data. However, words, this is something that is not really talked about and where what you say to yourself what you say to others, how you communicate, this is huge as far as your unconscious mind because this is going all directly to your unconscious mind as far as what you're saying to yourself, how you're talking to yourself because you got to remember, we are awareness, right? We are conscious awareness. We are aware that we are here, that we're experiencing our lives. However, what we're saying and what we're doing what we're experiencing, what we're thinking, what we're feeling, all of that is programming ourselves. And if we're not using the right type of thoughts, the right type of feelings, actions, and words, then guess what? We're programming ourselves, our mindset, right? For negativity, for things that are undesirable. So if we break down our lives and we look back at our experiences, we can easily identify certain specific causes of success and causes of failure. We can look back at different decisions, different ideas, different thoughts, different feelings that we had, and we can pinpoint, okay, at this time in my life, I made this decision because I felt this way and because I took this action and because, you know, I thought that I could do this or I couldn't do that. So that's how we are actually creating this whole cause and effect. And with cause and effect, this is how we structure our beliefs. We do this naturally as far as we communicate and we say, hey, you know, I believe that XYZ happens or is true because. And we typically don't give a reason why. Because it's just a matter of, hey, this is what we believe. And oftentimes, we don't really know why we believe what we believe. And it's typically from experiences, uh, different things that happen to us, different meanings that we attach to them. And when we can just look back at our life, our experiences, and maybe our family, our environment, Maybe they instilled a belief about money, a belief about accomplishments, about limitations. And so we say, hey, you know, I can't or it's impossible to do X, Y, Z because I've never known anybody to, you know, have, you know, any kind of real success or I've never known anybody uh, to, you know, accomplish big things. And so it's this whole because X, Y, Z is true or not true because, right? So once you can understand that that's the language and the structure of belief, then we can use this to our advantage to create new and empowering beliefs, right? Through our affirmations. 
and where we can get these to be easily accepted into our unconscious mind, right? This is us reprogramming our mind, right, for maximum success. And so this is how we're able to do this really by creating these different affirmations, even creating a recording and saying, we believe X or we can do X, Y, and Z because, right? And then giving a reason why. And here's the thing. We really don't even need any type of revolutionary or spectacular type of reason. It can be very simple. Hey, I believe that I can accomplish great things because I'm going to put in the necessary work so that I can make it so. Very, very simple to create different affirmations. You're going to have a worksheet uh, that goes over you know, how to create different affirmations, how to create a recording of these affirmations. But this is going to be one of the most important ways that you go about reprogramming your mind. Because remember, if you're not programming your mind for success and for positive things, then it's going to be programmed for negative things and for limitations and lack. And so we want to be proactive and program and rewire our mind so that it's positive. And throughout your day, take note of any time that you state a belief, any time that you are in communication with your friends, your family, and you are communicating, you're saying, I believe X, Y, and Z, or I think X, Y, and Z because, right? And notice all of those different times that you're using that and look to see if you can find a reason why. Why do you believe that? Was it an experience that you had? Was it information that you, you know, read somewhere online where it said that, you know, this is a possibility or this is true or whatever that may be, right? Look to see if you can find the root cause as to why 